Nitrogen occurs in all organisms and is as essential for life as oxygen or carbon. Nitrogen is converted into multiple chemical forms as it circles around atmospheric, terrestrial and marine ecosystems. Nitrogen in wastewater is categorized into groups such as TIN, TKN or TN, which are more explained in the following video link. For the biological process described in this video, we concentrate on ammonia nitrogen. Depending on the pH value of water, ammonia nitrogen converts either into gaseous ammonia, NH3, or into the ionic form, ammonium, NH4+. Typical wastewater conditions allow almost only the ionic form, ammonium, NH4+. The conversion from nitrogen ammonia to gaseous nitrogen N2 is called nitrification and denitrification. In a first step, nitrifying bacteria facilitate the oxidization of ammonium into nitrite, acid, water and ATP. Afterwards, nitrite is further oxidized into nitrate and more ATP. Nitrifying bacteria require certain vital conditions such as the right pH value and water temperature. In a final step, nitrate is converted by denitrifying bacteria into nitrogen gas, N2, base and again, ATP. Denitrifying bacteria need food in the form of organic waste and oxygen to make this conversion. However, as denitrification occurs under anaerobic conditions, denitrifying bacteria are forced to take oxygen from the nitrate. Wastewater treatment plants accelerate nitrogen removal by using different technologies such as fixed bed reactors and activated sludge process. Fixed bed reactors increase the available surface area for biofilm bacteria growth whereas activated sludge performs more nitrogen removal by sludge cultivation and additional oxygen input. AET provides both biofilm product systems and engineering support for nitrogen removal. To receive more information or project support, please use the link below to contact us. If you like our 3-minute video tutorials, please subscribe and don't forget to give thumbs up.